All right, go ahead and fire it up. <laughs> okay, so Tony put the injectors in and uh, he called me and said he still has a misfire. So here we are. Um, let me take you to the scan tool and uh, see what kind of trouble codes we have. So still showing a injector cylinder one circuit malfunction, PO201, and now we have a cam position sensor malfunction, PO340. Tony did mention that maybe what, two or three injectors out of the six that he got were already faulty. So he didn't put those ones in. He had to turn this connector around and uh, we can actually access it with the intake on. So this is one check I should have did before while we had it apart. But uh, just got my test light connected to battery positive. I'm gonna touch on this control wire. We do have some pulsing. That says our computer's good. We have control going to it. We need to check that supply voltage. You can leave it running. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna touch on these front pins on the control wire, and I want to check and see if I have that three and a half volts. There's that three and a half volts. That is a bias voltage from the computer to check this injector circuit. Now we'll go to this other side and what we want is 12 volts there. And if we have this 12 volts here, that means that Tony got a bad injector. Exactly what he has. Tony, you can shut this off. Dude, this inject is bad. Number one? Yeah. I figured. I'm trying to figure out what's up with these ones right now. I'm a, I broke it putting it in. I know I did. Yeah? That is what it is, man. This, this connector on this housing is also broken. What was that? That in that resistance back was 15 ohms, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I can get to these pins. Dude, this one is... <laughs> What's it coming out? Like 92, 93. See if you can get a reading off the... That's one of the ones that he gave me. This one is? Yep, yep. Yeah, this one's open, my friend. Yep. It's only 15 ohms, right? Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one's open. Same with this one, man. Yep. Then here's another one. You better call him back. Dude, I messaged him. Yeah? You better call him. I can't. I'll just call him now. How'd you message him? Facebook. Uh, Same thing with this one, dude. Yep. Where's your older ones? The this ones is one of them. This is one of your bad ones. Yeah. And then I broke one pulling it out. And then we broke that other one. One last thing I didn't show you guys on the last video was a known good waveform for this injector. So you have your turn on right here, you have your build, and when you have your turn off, there is a big spike here. You see the mechanical movement, the pinnel movement right there. So with our other one, we had the straight up and down line. There was no, no magnetic field build, and then we had no spike. That was the shorted injector. So, this is just a known good for you guys. Straight up and down line, no magnetic field build. And when you have the turn off, there is no magnetic field to collapse. And you don't get the, the big voltage spike. So this is just a known good way for you guys. Amperage. On a two amp scale, that might not even, it's not even one amp of current. So, less than an amp. So, turns out Tony actually broke this injector when he was installing it. It was an accident. Um, we made the right call, uh, it needed two injectors. So, last one, cylinder six, was the one where we had the three and a half volts on the control side. We verified that that control side voltage, that three and a half volts, is a bias voltage. Verified with our test light out here that we do have control all the way out and that the three and a half volts is just a bias voltage. It wasn't a supply voltage issue. It was an open injector and the computer saw that and sent three and a half volts out on a bias. So Tony's going to have to get another injector and install it on the cylinder one. And then we're going to have to look into this cam sensor fault that we have. So that may be a second video. But I just wanted to stress this bias voltage and our control with the test light on these pins. So test light to battery positive on the control side. Get a test light flicker. And then we have our 12 volts coming from the fuel pump relay. Needs another injector, but we made the right call. So, hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.